So, here we go again. Doesn't time fly when you're building robots? I'm Tom, driver and captain of Team Toron, and I'm here yet again with my dad Tim. Yep, the last series was our very first foray into the world of fighting robots with our first ever build, uh, which was of course Toron. Yep, um, it, it really was our very first robot of any weight class ever, um, and I think we, we both agree that, quite frankly, it could have gone better. Mm, yeah, yeah, really good. <laughs> Um, we did have a few component failures on the day, um, but the other roboteers were really great, helped us out, mm. um, gave us lots of advice, yeah. uh, and eventually we, uh, we we got into the arena, which was the main thing. Um, we, we we learned a huge amount from that experience, mm. and it was great. Yeah, it, 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 we, we got a lot of very valuable feedback, I think, mm. um, and it really is a great community, and I think, really, we'd love to be part of that crazy family again. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we certainly would. So... After our somewhat early exit in Series 2, we yes. think there's some unfinished business for Torum. Yeah, I think we feel that our, our unique design uh, has more to offer, to be honest. Um, which, funnily enough, is why since the, what, the day we got back yeah, yeah. in Glasgow, yeah. uh, we've not really slept very much. Uh, <laughs> the day we've got back from Glasgow, uh, we've, been, we've been busy, mm, we haven't have. we? I think we have. So what 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 we've we been doing there? Yeah, we've been spending, uh, building, building, building. building. Yeah. <laughs> we have been building, uh, to be honest, the beast that is Toron Mark Two. <laughs> As you might remember from last time, uh, when we applied, we had a wooden prototype and uh, renders from our CAD. And this time around, uh, as you can see, we've actually kind of finished the entire robot. Mm. I think that that's one of the main points from from for this new series is that we're very much ready to go into the arena. Honestly, our our VT could be filmed like tomorrow, right? Mm. <laughs> like it's 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 ready. Uh, and as you can see in this video, it's it still retains that top speed of 12 miles an hour, whilst being far more nippy than before. It's it's very very manoeuvrable now, um, and that's largely thanks to our our upgraded drive motors. It's a different system now, uh, and it works a lot better than before. So what makes Toron unique is its pivoting design. So the weapon is mounted on this section, which is connected to the drive section via a pivot, uh, and this means that when inverted the weapon section will always rotate to the upright position. And because our weapon is fully reversible as well, this means that we can always rotate it the right way. So my dad and I are now gonna show you what happens when it's inverted. So this is the pivot in action. So you have to imagine this would be upside down. And as you can see, it's fully symmetrical and fully lethal. There you go. Um, yeah, Toron has had some monumental upgrades to be honest. Um, compared to last time, uh, we had six mil polycarbonate armor this time round the weapon section is protected by two five kilo hardox plows um, and all the sides are hardox too top and bottom we've now got 10 mil polycarbonate and some sections have got a polycarbonate hardox composite protecting them such as uh, the electronics section that's quite vital to protect of course um, the weapon has also been upgraded immensely uh, it's now 18 kilos as opposed to 13. Um, I think the main thing that we've upgraded now really is we've massively improved our weight distribution. Yeah, so for Toron 2 we've, uh, we've changed the, the overall size, we've changed the weight distribution trying to put the weight where it really matters. Yeah. So it's quite a, bit, quite a bit shorter and stubbier, much more compact. Um, inside we've got more compact high performance components. Um, and you, can, you can see by the difference uh, the relative size, this, this thing's a, 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 a lot smaller, do not pack a real punch. Yeah, so we've, we've made some improvements to the, uh, the weapon drive train. Uh, previously that was that was two chains, yeah. um, but we've now got a, a dual belt system mm -hmm. with a tensioner on, so yeah, we've got a kind of built-in clutch. Um, hopefully that will protect the motor from some of the shock when we, when we do damage. We really would very much like to come back. I mean, there's a real feeling, and I'm not just saying this for the application video, there's a real feeling 
that we'd very much like to do better. I, I think we were both pretty disappointed with the way things went, and that's not the best that we can do. That it, you know, we, we've we've come back and we've built a beast, and we'd love to come and come and show you guys what it can do. Yep. Yeah. So as you might recall in the last application video, um, I did mention that if we got on the show, I would bring cookies. <laughs> yeah. And I'd just like to show you really quickly just a photo of of Dara O'Brien eating one of my mum's cookies. There you go. As you can see, I came through on my promise. And I can say that if we get on the next series, we are going to bring cookies. We are going to bring cakes as well. Yeah, there may well be cake this time. There may well also be cake. And yet again, if it's no good, we will smash it on the floor on. There will be a bit of a mess, but it's, it's, it's all for a good cause, really. So, we have been Team Toron. And this is Toron Mark 2. Thank you.